Hey, Boa Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have a category video for you. We are going to talk about Christmas bolos, items to be on the lookout for that have to do with Christmas. All right, um, we're, I did a deep dig search on eBay. I looked at solds, and some of these I know about. Some of these are very familiar to me. I have sold them before, and some of them are not. So we are going to get started here. I believe I have two or three other Christmas bolo videos, category videos, so you're welcome to go and check those out. Also, um, there may be something there that is not in this video. All right, you guys, let's get started with the first one here. And the first one is a live auction. Okay, sorry, that I have going on now. This is my bolo. Um, I just listed it today. I picked this up at a garage sale for $10 and he is super, super cool. He is a store display. Um, I was putting off listing him because I don't know. I don't know why I didn't know what it was. And the other night I was on my reseller testing Bolo products YouTube channel and I was doing a live show and I was doing like a live listing and I held it up and uh, farm girl scavenger Noel. Uh, did like a screenshot and then she did Google Lens. I was just kind of showing it and she's like, you have a Harold Gale. So um, I looked it up and Harold Gale is most definitely a Bolo. Now they do range. I think mine is really rare. So um, what happened is I started the auction at $124.99. I had, sometimes I do that, I'll start the auction low and see if I have any bids or any offers. I had an offer that came in at 195 within a couple hours of listing it. So I knew that I had a hot item. So what I did, and you guys may or may not agree with this, but um, I declined the offer. I started, um, I went in and I revised the item and started it at $199.99. Um, and again, you guys may or may not agree with that method. I have done it before. It typically works for me. It's a way for me to feel out the market on my item. Until somebody places a bid, you can do whatever you want. You can revise it however you want. So relisted it or not relisted it, revised it for $199.99. And I got an offer from for that almost within a half an hour of changing the price, um, making it higher. And then all of a sudden, like an hour or two later, I started getting like a bunch of alerts that people were bidding on the item. So it is now up to $265. It has six days and 15 hours left. Um, by the time this video airs, um, because I'm planning to probably release this on Christmas Eve, um, this will probably have sold. So uh, hopefully the buyer pays, but um, I'm super excited to see where this goes and I will definitely keep you guys posted in a future video. So I told you a little bit about this Santa. Um, the Harold Gales are super, super easy to identify because of their faces. So get familiar with this face. And if you ever find one, um, definitely pick it up if you can get it for the right price. There's no other markings on him. Um, I just after Noel said to look up Harold Gale, I started doing research. I looked, looked on WorthPoint. Um, you guys, if you're not using WorthPoint, it is amazing. Um, I have a video on that on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, and there's also a link down in the description of this video. But it does say display $9.98 on the bottom. So again, I do believe this was a store display. All right, you guys, let's move on. Um, that's the backstory on this guy. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And let's move on to the next one. All right, the next item is, look at this, you guys. It is a vintage 23-inch blue flocked bottle, bottle, bottle brush Christmas tree. And these bottle brush trees can definitely be a bolo. Um, I actually have a couple listed right now, and I had an offer today. I probably should have taken it, but I counter-offered. Um, so maybe they won't get the counter-offer until tomorrow, but I'm hoping they accept and mine does not look like this. I wish it did because this sold for $426 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Mr. Christmas Santa's O'Mickey Ski Slope replacement track. 
Now, the reason I'm showing you this is, is because I sell replacement parts all the time. But if you can find a Mr. Christmas item and maybe you get it and you're all bummed out because it doesn't work, you can still sell the parts, you guys. These sold for $76 plus shipping. The next item is this um, rotary color, color wheel. These are for the aluminum Christmas trees. I have a really hard time with that word, you guys. So, um, but the color wheels, they rotate and it shows up on these trees. So if you ever see a color wheel, they are definitely a bolo. This one sold for $115.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage 1984 Muppets Fraggle Rock Christmas card. You guys, this is one Christmas card. It has writing on the inside. I'm not sure why this is so collectible. And I thought maybe it was a fluke, but let me show you something. I went into their feedback to see if they paid. That's one way that I search. And let me show you. This is their store. I am under Christmas cards solds. And look at this. Um, I don't know why. $431, $396. They're all Kermit the Frog, you guys. And the Muppets. $191, $182. 133. So this seller hit the jackpot on cards. So I I don't know. I can't tell you why. I wish that I could, but definitely be on the lookout. Certain cards, I mean, even like this one went for $15.50. That's still a great return on a card. And that's only from 2001. These are from the 90s. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. The next item that sold is this Avon calendar, and this is definitely a bolo, you guys. This one looks like it has two of the mice, which is, I've never seen that, um, but that probably helped the value of this, but this sold on auction for $163 plus shipping. You guys, these range, they can go much, much higher. I just sold one for, I think it was $175, and mine had some condition issues. All right, these are Twinkler Christmas tree ornaments. It's a set of four, and these sold for $221 plus shipping. This is what they look like. I've yet to find any of these, but they're really, really cool. I'm not even sure what they really do, but um, definitely a cool bolo. The next item that sold is this vintage 1974 Sears catalog Christmas wish book. You guys, these old catalogs that um, have the Christmas themes to them, can definitely be a bolo. This one looks like it has the original packaging sleeve that maybe it was mailed in, and it sold for $127.50. Now, in my opinion, if I was the seller selling this, I would have opened the book to some special pages that had really cool advertising on them and also included photos of those. But that's just me. They still did great on this item, even without doing that. The next item that sold is this Vintage Christmas Nativity Flat Wooden Painted Miniatures. This one actually kind of surprised me. Um, I don't know if this is like a do-it-yourself type thing or a kit, but it sold for $96. Um, that one really surprised me. So just, I pick up nativities all the time, but I don't think I would have expected that one to go for as much. The next item are vintage brass sleigh bells. They're 29 on this strap and it went for $107.50 plus shipping. Vintage sleigh bells are definitely a bolo, so um, especially on, on the leather strap. This one I thought was really cool. It's a vintage snowman knee hugger. And a lot of times we see elves. This is a little snowman, but what's really cool is it's still in the original packaging. And I don't know why that's there. But anyway, made in Japan, uh, $84 plus shipping on that one. The next item is this vintage 1980s Daisy Kingdom dress. It is a Christmas toy theme. You guys, um, vintage dresses for toddlers are a big money bolo, a lot of them. Now, they do range from bread and butter to big money. But if you can find the ones that are special, I do have a video on that also to help you guys know what to look for. But Daisy Kingdom is a great brand. This one sold for $231.50 plus shipping. And you can see right here what the tag looks like. The next item that sold is this tablecloth. Um, again, vintage tablecloths. They do range from bread and butter to big money. 
this one happened to sell for $96 with free shipping. Um, really, it, you just want to look up vintage Christmas items because oftentimes they are big money. This is a 1952, the Santa Claus book. It's a golden book, a big golden book. So it's the bigger sized one. And you can see here, they opened up the book and showed you some of the pictures. There are some condition issues as seen here. And this still went for $113.61. You guys, the book is torn. Um, and that was auction style. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage quilt. Um, if you guys don't know, vintage quilts are a big money bolo. They do range. This one is beautiful. Um, it's a Christmas basket pattern. And this sold for $650 plus shipping. Do a search on vintage quilts. You guys will be amazed. This one I thought was pretty cool. Probably not going to find this new in the box like this. Uh, but this is from 1998 to 1999. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Island of Misfit Toys plush in the original box. Super, super cute. Um, these don't look like expensive toys to me. I think it's just the fact that it's in the original packaging with all of the toys. And this sold for $320 plus shipping. And you can see they still have their original tags. But they retailed for like six bucks each, it looks like. The next item that sold are these bottle brush Christmas trees. These are the ones that um, are a little more common that you guys are going to find at estate sales and garage sales and stuff like that. These sold for $157.50. That blue tree in the beginning, I've never seen one like that. These I have sold and have seen. And I have a couple listed right now. Okay, you guys, this vintage Bradford Star Christmas tree topper. You guys, I think I want one of these. I keep seeing these when I do bolo videos, and I'm like, they are so cool, but they are so expensive. This sold for $520 plus shipping. The next item to always be on the lookout for are vintage paper mache candy containers. This one happens to be by Paul Turner, um, but anything paper mache and Christmas, look it up. This guy sold for $516.55 plus shipping. The next item is this nativity stocking. So cross stitch kits in general, if you can find them new in the package, stockings, they are a bolo. Um, they range from bread and butter to big money. But if you find them complete like this, they can still sell for great money. Um, this one happened to sell for $102.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this rare vintage Christmas tree brooch signed by, I think it's Weiss. Um, really, really cool. You can see the marking right there. This sold for $76 plus shipping. So when you see vintage brooches, the first thing you want to do is flip it over and see if it's signed. After that, you want to start doing your research and look it up if it is signed. Even if it's not signed, it might be a great bread and butter item. Here's another one, Crown Trafari. Crown Trafari is a bolo, you guys. Um, again, they do range, not every single crown try for Fari is going to be huge, big money, but, um, some of the harder to find ones like this one, they can be big money. This sold for $260 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this hobbyist hand painted snowman. So you guys, this is just like a, um, like somebody maybe made this and it sold for $122 and 51 cents, but it is darling. Um, so even things that are handmade um, from a mold, they can still sell for good money if it's the right type of item. Here's another Daisy Kingdom holiday Christmas dress. Um, this one is still considered a Christmas dress, but it could be for like New Year's or it's a little more flexible because there's no there's not like snowmen or Santa and stuff like that on it. It's not as obvious, but this one is Daisy Kingdom as well, and it sold for $89 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage bubble lights, 52 of them. You guys, these are untested. Uh, they sold for $210.50. So these are basically replacements. Um, I will tell you that sometimes they do not work. The next item that sold is this vintage Christmas cardboard house. This is mica and putts. So um, these putts houses, I have sold these in the past. I do very well with them. They do range from bread and butter to big money. The more detailed they are, the better they do. I'm really shocked that this one went for so much, but it truly did. The I did check the uh, feedback and feedback was left for this. So this was a good paid for sale and it sold for $328.50 plus shipping. 
The next item are these Rushton Santa Claus rubber face dolls. I don't know if these are all Rushtons. I was looking at this guy right here and he kind of has the face like my Harold Gale that I showed you at the beginning. So I'm wondering if that's paper mache or if that one's rubber. It kind of looks like paper mache. I don't know. But um, a lot of them are rubber. I don't know if these are actually Rushton or not. I'm trying to see if I can see any tush tags. There's a tush tag there, but I can't see it. But anyway, Vintage Santa is sold for $204.51 plus shipping. The next item is this Holland Mold Ceramic Christmas Tree. If you guys do not know, these ceramic trees can go for big bucks. It just depends on which one you find, how much you're going to get for it. This one happened to sell for $195.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Vintage Hard Plastic Santa with Merry Christmas Wreath. And it says Rosbro Miller. Um, never seen anything like this, never sold anything like this. Different, kind of cool. Uh, it sold for $277 plus shipping. And I'm wondering if it's an old candy container. Okay, here's another one. This one is a vintage ceramic Atlantic mold. And like I said, the prices can be all over the place. This one sold for $376. So this is probably more of a rare tree. You can see it's even got a chip there on the top. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item are these seven vintage World War II Shiny Bright ornaments. Okay, you guys, Shiny Bright is a great brand to look for. Um, if you see Shiny Bright, definitely look it up. They do range. Um, and also, it depends on um, the condition. The next item, I don't know about this one. I thought it was interesting, so I thought I would share it. It says, Old Antique Vintage German Goose Feather Christmas Tree. Never seen anything like it. Um, I don't, I'm guessing it's called Feather because there's not very many limbs on it. I don't know. Do you guys know anything about it? It sold for $267 plus shipping. It is from the 1930s. Pretty cool bolo, so I wanted to share it, but I know nothing about it. The next item is this Relpo Christmas Ceramic Santa Claus Bobblehead Spaghetti Trim. So you guys, if you ever see these Santas with the spaghetti trim, that's the like the part that goes around the hat. That's called spaghetti trim. Definitely look it up. Um, this one happens to be a planter um, and a bobblehead. So it's got a lot going for it. And it sold for $125.50 plus shipping. The next item are these Lefton Green Christmas Bird Salt and Pepper Shakers. Super, super cute. They've got the holly on their heads. These sold for $128 plus shipping. I absolutely adore this. I think this is so cute. So they are like little pixie elves um, and they spell out Noel with their bodies. Is this not so cute? It's Holt Howard, which is highly collectible. And these sold for $261. If I found this, oh my goodness, I might be tempted to keep it. I think it is so, so cute. The next item that sold is this vintage Holt Howard again, Japan Candy Cane Peppermint Angel Candle Holder. And here is what it says on the bottom. And this sold for $234 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Christopher Radko ornament. Um, Christopher. Christopher Radko is also highly collectible. They do range from bread and butter to huge money. Some go for thousands of dollars. This one is a headless horseman and it went for $214.27 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage turquoise blue Santa Claus rubber face and it says Rushton question mark. So they're not sure if it's a Rushton. Um, I'm not sure either, but I will say that the turquoise and the pink Santas seem to be more valuable. So that could be helping this listing get more um, traction, even if it's not a Rushton. And it's still rubber face. So does anybody know, is this a Rushton? And you can see right here, it even has a stain on the leg and it went for $620.53 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this blow mold. It's a Christmas reef with a candle. This sold for $91 plus shipping. You guys, Christmas blow molds, they are pretty much a big money bolo item. Definitely look them up. They are kind of a pain to ship because they're usually very big. But um, do your research and, you know, decide if it's worth it for you. 
The next item that sold are these vintage 1950s Snow Baby Pixie Harold Gale, you guys, Christmas ornaments. How cute are these? So, so cute. They sold for $320 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Christmas skating bear musical magnetic mirrored pond music box. So I don't know this. I don't think it has a brand. Um, but what I will tell you is anything that's animated in Christmas, like if it does something, definitely research it because people look for these things all the time. They love it. This sold for $97 plus shipping. The next item are the vintage sparkler pom-pom aluminum Christmas trees. This one, um, it doesn't even have that many branches, but you will find that the aluminum, aluminum, oh, sorry, trees, the limbs each come in individually wrapped. So if you get one of these and it's incomplete, you can sell the branches individually and make big money also. So just keep that in mind. Uh, these sold for $336 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this lot of knee hugger pixie elves, summer straight legs, summer knee huggers, super cute, made in Japan, 1960s. These went for $310 plus shipping. And I've never seen the ones up here on the top that are sitting on the little uh, swings. Really, really cute. The next item is this vintage rare Napco Rudolph head vase. Um, it's a head vase, you guys. Super cute. Sold for $301 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. It says 1962, hand painted, made in Japan. Very, very cool. The next item are more of those putts cardboard houses. Again, I typically part mine out. This has the, the houses, so it's like a little village. And it's also got the bottle brush um, trees with it. So super, super cute set. I am surprised this did not go for more. It only went for $71 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Christmas tree topper with angels. It says that it works and it is fabulous. Um, it sold for $449 plus shipping. And the next item is this vintage Santa advertising pinback button. So again, I went into the feedback to see if this actually sold. And to my surprise, this one also, they sold this one for $315, but just wait, there's more. Are you ready? This is this person's store. So they must have hit the jackpot on vintage pinback buttons, you guys. I had no idea that pinback buttons could go for this much. Are you ready? $413, $411, $315, These are all vintage pinback Christmas advertising. Now they are really old. Most of them are what, from the 40s, I think it said? Did it say from the 40s? Let me look here. Thought I saw one that said the 40s, but I could be wrong. I thought one was dated. We'll keep going here. Two, yeah, 1940. 215, 178, 135, 127, 110. Can you guys believe this? Now we're getting a little lower, but we're still over $50, you guys, per pin back. How cool is that? $35, which is still a great return. I bet this seller was so happy. 25 bucks, 24 bucks. Super, super cool. And now these are going for like 10. Isn't that crazy? That one only went for three. So very, very cool bolo items. Um, what do you guys think? Did you love it? Christmas bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. Um, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Um, just great stuff. Um, thank you for being here. This is a category bolo video. I have a whole playlist of these. I've got Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, um, bathroom bolos. I've got um, kitchen bolos, garage bolos, uh, made in Japan. You guys, I have so many category videos. Plush, Build-A-Bear. Um, so many. Go to my playlist, check it out. You guys can binge watch and just learn, learn, learn. So this is one way that I learn as I do these category videos. So it helps me learn and it helps you guys learn. And now we get to go out and find these items. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and leave me an emoji of a Christmas tree.
or something Christmas themed. Um, there's probably a Christmas tree. If not, just write Christmas tree. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.